Glass Wings, A Butterfly Story by Alyssa Clevin. Claire was a glass wing butterfly. Her wings as clear as windows let the world shine through. When Claire soared high, she looked sky blue or puffy white or rainbow striped. When she swooped down low to the forest floor, she seemed as feathery green as the ferns. And when she fluttered among the flowers sipping nectar, Claire looked like a flower too. I like being flowery best, Claire thought. I love being here with my flowery mother and father and brothers and sisters in our bright blooming home. But one day, while Claire was chasing a wisp of milkweed silk, a sudden wind swept her up. Claire, we can't see you, her family called. Here I am, said Claire, but she was lost in the swirling clouds. On and on she tumbled, scared and lonely. Finally, the wind let her go. She fluttered down to a strange new world a city of concrete and corners. I hope I find some flowers here, Claire said hungrily, and I hope that my family will find me. How would anyone find you? asked a pigeon. You're almost invisible. Your wings are as gray as the sidewalk, a ladybug added. As clean as the air, said an ant. Are you a ghost? Of course not, said Claire. I'm a glass wing butterfly. My wings can be any color at all. Look! Claire looked around for a spot of color. Up above, she saw three big ones lined up in a row. Oh, said the ladybug. You're as red as me now. And now you're as yellow as a taxi, cried the pigeon. And now you're as green as a soda can, the ant exclaimed. Are you a magic butterfly? I wish, said Claire, I'd fly right home, but I don't know the way. Stay here with us then, the pigeon suggested. No butterflies ever visit, said the ladybug. They just pass overhead on their way somewhere else. Would you like something to eat, asked the ant, offering Claire a tortilla crumb. Thanks, but I only eat nectar, said Claire, from flowers. Flowers? asked the pigeon. What are flowers? asked the ant. I know what flowers are, said the ladybug, flapping her wings. I ate some tasty aphids on some flowers just this morning. Follow me, I'll show you. The ladybug led them to an empty lot where a few flowers grew. They were dusty and scraggly, nothing like the lush flowers back home. But they swayed a little in the breeze and offered Claire their nectar. And as she drank it, Claire felt more like her old self again. Day after day, Claire fluttered among the flowers, sipping their nectar, carrying their sticky yellow pollen from plant to plant, helping new flowers to grow. Her new friends helped the flowers too. The ladybug kept them free of pests. The ants stirred up the soil they grew in. The pigeons scattered their seeds this way and that. And Claire was happy with everything growing and gathering around her. But at night, she dreamed of her family far away. One morning, the pigeon told Claire, Look how many flowers have grown since you've been here with us. Like magic, said the ant. And look at your wings, admired the butterfly. Look, look, said a voice in the sky. Claire looked. A family of glass wings was fluttering near. Look at that big patch of color, they cried. Look at that flowery butterfly. She looks just like our... Claire! We've been looking for you. Here I am, said Claire, with my friends. 
The butterflies waved their wings. They spun and swooped through the sky, changing from blue to gold to purple pink. Starry as the night, sparkly as the city lights. Bright as the butterfly garden, they all make together each day.